Hello and welcome to another one of my lead code videos. In this one, we'll do lead code 2390, removing stars from a string. So basically, we're given a string, and for each star, we need to remove the nearest character on the left that is closest to the star. And we have to return the string after removing all the stars, right? So in this case, let's say we have this star, the closest character to the star is T, so we can remove this. This one closest character is E, we can remove this and so on. So after removing all the stars, we get this output. And no matter what order we choose the stars, we'll always end up with the same string, right? That it can be proven that a unique string will always be generated. So what will be our approach to solve this problem? Basically, what we'll do is we'll have We'll keep track of all the non-star letters, right? So we, we can have like L, E, E, T. And then as soon as we hit a star, we'll remove the last one we saw, right? If we hit another star, we'll remove the last one we saw. And then we hit C, O, D, which is these three letters. And then when we see a star again, we remove the last letter. And then we see E. So this, whatever is left is what we end up returning, right? So that will be our overall um, approach right so basically we'll just iterate through the string you know keep track of all of the letters and then if we hit a star we'll just remove the last letter at the end we'll return the, the result so let's go ahead and write the code for this so how will we model our like you know keeping track of the letters so I just thought we'll just use a character array right of um, whose length is going to be s dot length so anytime we see uh, a new letter, we'll add it in the array. And when we see a star, we'll just move our index back. And, you know, basically that represents removing a letter, right? And at the end, wherever we end up in the array is where we'll create our result string from. So hopefully you will see that when we write the code. Let's just go ahead and um, code it. So we'll have new string equals new character array and the length will be the same length as the string because worst case if there are no stars we'll use up the whole array and then what we'll say is we'll go to the all of the characters in the string so we'll loop through all the cars in the string s and we have two cases if c is a star and if C is not a star, right? So we need to keep track of next index. Initially, that next index will be zero, right? This will represent the next place where we'll put our um, next letter, right? So if, if it's not a star, we'll just say new string at next index is equal to C, and we'll do next index plus plus, at the end, we'll return new string, and then we'll pass in the car array new string from index zero, and the number of characters is next index, right? So basically wherever our next index ends up, that will be our number of characters, and this string constructor conveniently takes a character array with a range, so we can just give it this range to create a string out of. Now, if it is a star, what we want to do is next index minus minus, right? But it could be that the first character is a star and there's nothing, bef there's no letters before that, right? So we only do this if next index is greater than zero, right? So if that means if, if we've seen at least, if there's at least one character remaining, right? In which case our next index will be zero because that one character will be at index zero only then we do minus minus, right? So we don't, you know, make the next index negative. So this should basically do it. Let's run it and see how this does. All right, accept it. Let's submit. Perfect. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Cheers.